Hello everyone, this is Brent. I'm making this video to uh, attempt to describe and explain how the old school combat formula works. You've probably already noticed, and this is even in RS3, attack, strength, and defense levels, which factor into melee, attack, strength, and defense. Defense also protects against, you know, the defense level also factors into magic and range defense as well as its defense. Anyway, on the equipment, you'll notice this button that brings up this window with a bunch of statistics. And um, I'd like to mention that the defense level and defense bonus to that particular attack, to whatever particular attack style, which is listed, the defense bonus right here, for stab, slash, crush, magic, and range. Any attack will fall into one of those categories. Anyway, those affect, those defense levels and defense bonuses affect or factor into the likelihood that that kind of attack will hit you for their maximum damage. It just factors into the likelihood, not saying it's impenetrable. There's no, no way to really be you know, it's all a roll of the dice, every hit, but there is statistics that factor into it. And you see this when you look at calculators and stuff like that. Um, and then there's attack bonus, which you'll see up here, attack bonus, and there's stab, slash, crush, magic, and range. Um... Yeah, your attack level and attack bonus of that particular attack style also factors in the likelihood of hitting through an opponent's defenses. So here you can see your attack level. And here's where you can see what kind of attack it is. As you can see, the whip is all slash. Hence why it has such a high slash bonus. It is a slash weapon. Hey, Pay careful attention to that when using different weapons is make sure you're using the attack style that it gives the highest bonus so it will factor in the highest accuracy. Now, how high you hit is determined by under another bonus called strength. How high you hit, how high you can possibly potentially hit is determined by the strength level and the strength bonus. And this is for melee. Um, so now I'm just going to do basic comparison of plate bodies and um, plate legs. Um, this is rune, 50 defense. You're looking at 200 with 170 range XP. I mean range the uh, defense bonus. And just for a little information, this is the helm of Knight is not done by uh, doing one of the Fremnic quests. Um, you can look up that item on the wiki and figure out which quest you have to do to get it. This is the Rune Defender. It's often, it's, I'll get to that in a minute, but it's, it's obtained by doing the Fighter's Guild, which you'll need attack and strength levels to either one to be 99 or the other to um, or the or both of them add up to 130 I think this is the abyssal whip dropped by the abyssal demon I'm not high enough level to kill abyssal demons yet so I doubt it this is the cape of legends um, it's done by doing the legends quest and yeah it gives all around plus seven defense bonus to each one of these statistics these are Barrow's Gloves. I obtained these by completing Recipe for Disaster. Um, you can do segments of it, even at lower levels, to get lower level gloves, such as Rune, Bronze, you know, up, all the way up to Barrow's. Okay, well, this Rune. At level 50, you can wear 50 Defense, and I think 50 Strength, you can wear a Granite Plate Body. Which, um... Has a significant high, significantly higher range bonus and a little bit higher on all the other ones compared to the rune plate body. 
Um, and then at 60 defense, you can wear a dragon plate skirt. And all of these are pretty afford, relatively affordable. I mean, if you have the level, you by now you should have the. You could easily get the money by doing like a few hours of unicorns. But um, but yeah, just comparing, you go from about 20 stab, 15 slash, and about 15 crush. And of course your range goes up significantly as well. So yeah, and those are all very affordable. If you want to step up your defense to even higher, you can wear Barrow's armor. Which, as you can see, pushes it close to 300. And, um... Yeah, the only downside is that they degrade they degrade over time and you have to pay money to repair it. So it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to spend extra money to pay for greater defense over a longer period of time. I'm not sure if it I'm not sure if it really pays off just for defense bonus, but it's it's completely up to you. I've seen people I see plenty of people do it. It's just whether you're willing or not to pay it. You'll, in many of my videos, you'll see me wearing these with a doing Slayer with a black mask or something. But uh, yeah, I recommend mainly recommend Barrows for like heavy boss fights. Like, but yeah, which moves on to so those are those are the top you know most common defense armors you see. Um, and these are a little bit on the higher end. Torags is the cheapest barrows set. Um, I'm also wearing dragon boots. You know, they they go up to rune and even bandos, but bandos doesn't offer a strength bonus, which brings me to the strength bonus. Um, just comparing. The whip and Saradaman sword, which is the level 70. Theoretically, based on the max hit calculator, if you are using whip plus a defender or this shield right here, which offers the same strength bonus as a rune defender, um, you'll have a, a slightly higher max hit than the Saradaman sword, and not to mention a higher, a much higher accuracy. And, um, yeah, the only way a Saradaman sword can max, can match the max hit, not accuracy, it's weaker in accuracy, and keep in mind the price. It's weaker in accuracy, and it doesn't have as high strength bonus. You only achieve that equivalence to the Whip and Rune Defender when you're using the aggressive strength training style. Which is slash, and uh, you can look up the Saradon So, Dragon Scimitar, um, it's a cheap strength weapon. I wouldn't use it for anything else. I would, if if you're training attack or defense, I would use a whip. I use control just to bring them all up gradually, but that's just my personal preference. Um, amulet of Strength, you know, it's a cheap amulet, gives a strength bonus. For some reason, it has a higher strength bonus than uh, Amulet of Fury, which is a, a few million. So I don't even bother with that. But um, a few alternatives. You know, obviously on par with Barrows is Bandos, which is extremely high defense armor that gives a strength bonus and uh. An alternative to that is the fighter torso. If you're looking for just sheer strength bonus, um, sheer strength and attack bonus, you could use um, a fighter torso and a rune defender. Both of these items, however, take a considerable amount of time to get, a considerable amount of time to obtain. Um, the alternatives is to, you know, buy bandos. Use a barrows for just greater defense, or 
and for the rune defender you could use you could get this shield it's relatively cheap you know you can buy it in a few minutes and it gives a good a healthy strength bonus about as much as a granite shield and yeah the same strength bonus as a rune defender the only thing is you do not get that accuracy so you're sacrificing accuracy for defense or defense for accuracy but you also want to factor in the time it takes to get a rune defender should you lose it. It can potentially be a few hours, just keeping that in mind. Um, some alternatives to dragon boots, which are which are pretty high, like 350k at this point. Um, an alternative is climbing boots, which gives a it gives half the strength bonus, but they're like 15 coins or something like that. An alternative to Barrow's Gloves is Rune Gloves. Um, you obviously drop down four strength bonus, so you're, you're going from 12 strength bonus to eight, plus not as much accuracy, but I mean you're not risking anything. Those gloves are worth like 6.5k, which is nothing. Um, yeah, so, you know, I would, I would recommend you doing your own cost slash benefit analysis and choose what would work best with you, for you. Um, obviously if you're facing a magical opponent and not a ranged or melee, you would want to wear it your best dragon hide to get some magic defense this will um this will help in those areas where you have to fight a magical creature it can be magical melee some creatures are magical melee where what that means is protect from melee will block all their damage but it's still a magic based attack it's using magic attack bonus which in turn magic defense bonus protects better against it even though it's technically protected by protect from me and i forgot to mention the god cape gives the highest magic defense bonus in the game except maybe the fire cape but fire cape i would recommend doing an extreme cost benefit analysis on that i mean unless you just you're absolutely confident you can just walk in there and get a fire cape the next subject is ranged, and um, you'll notice that on the statistics page it gives you know your attack bonus, which for range usually runs very high given you're appropriately geared, but it doesn't show anything about strength, and I will shed some light on that right here. So yeah, these are the statistics that factor into your ranged max hit. Um, it's not displayed in 07. But it's you know the the range strength bonus is comes from the ammo that you're using and it's invisible and the only other things that affect your max hit is your range level itself and whether or not you're using void or an imbued black mask. So yeah, Jagex, I really hope you um, have plans to implement a more detailed statistics page which includes magic and ranged strength bonus. Um, just a suggestion from one of the casual players in the game. And then there's magic, which, um, you know, it has look. You basically, when using magic, you want to use the highest damaging spell you can, which costs a lot of money due to the cost of runes. But this can be lessened due to elemental staffs, which give you an unlimited amount of runes for that elemental rune. But you'll still have to use these, and if you're using ancient magics, you'll use nothing but these. And uh, yeah, certain staffs are needed to cast certain spells, and basically, yeah, you want to just stack accuracy, and not to mention magic also has stuff like binds and stuff, and can block teleports, which can be useful in player versus player. And yeah, other modifiers to strength and accuracy are Void Knight Armor, 15, 10%. Increase to accuracy, accuracy and strength to range. Increase strength and accuracy to melee. And for magic, only accuracy. And the salve amulet, which will only increase the accuracy of 
Melee attacks against the undead in the imbued black mask, which will increase everything on the Slayer's 